next topic is union so it is something very similar to structure so let's learn what is a union by comparing it with structure so union it is a concept that is borrowed from structures and follow the same syntax as structures the main difference between them is in terms of storage in structures each member has its own storage location whereas all the members of a union use the same location so that is a major difference as well as a definition for union and this implies that although union contain many members of different types it can handle only one member at a time so let's uh, check this example the union contains three members say union so if it was struct we give the declaration like this struct item in term float x char c and called is the name one name for that structure variable so same thing we can follow for union also so here we can um, see that there are three members what is one is integer one is float and the other is char and here the structure variable is called so we can access it just like in structure we can access like called using dot operator we can access the element so called dot m called dot x or called dot c but if it is a structure it will take us total of space like 4 bytes for integer 4 bytes for float and char c1 so 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 9 byte is required for structure but in case of union the difference is it uh, allocates a storage that is large enough to hold the largest variable in the union so here this is 1 byte whereas int and float are 4 bytes so in case of union instead of 4 plus 4 plus 1 total 9 bytes in case of union only the largest variable size is Uh, allocated so it will be only 4 bytes so that is a major difference between struct and union so you can see here when it is total 4 bytes are allotted here and for character say c it is just 1 byte so here they have considered int as 2 bytes that's why they show 1000 and 1001 in some other processes uh, we have 4 bytes for integer okay so here we are, uh, they assume integer size is 2 bytes so 1 byte for character 2 bytes for m that is integer and 4 bytes for float that is x so you can see that the total memory allocated is the memory needed for the largest variable that is 4 bytes corresponding to float and that same location is shared between all the uh, member elements in a union whereas in structure separate memory would have been allocated in the declaration above member x requires 4 bytes which is the largest among the members and to access the members it is just like structures we use dot operator called dot m called dot x called dot c like that during the accessing we should make sure that we are accessing the member whose value is currently stored so the issue is they are all using the same location so once called dot m is in the memory you can print it or you can use it for some uh, calculations but after that when x is used then m is no longer there so that is the issue at one time only one member is can be used or it's only that value stored in the storage space here in this uh, code you can see code dot m that is access then code dot x so now code dot m is not there then if we give a print for code dot m it will result in an error because in between after using code dot m we have initialized the value of code dot x so m is no longer present in that storage space but this issue will not come if we are using a structure because separate memory locations are allocated for each element in a structure but now let's check a program so that it will be simple to understand we'll start with structure itself because we are already familiar with structure so here int consists for this processor uh, integer is 4 bytes int and float are 4 bytes so here 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is 12 plus character of size 16 it's an array so 12 plus 16 that is 28 bytes and here i have given print for a single structure size of uh, operator can be used to get the size so size of struct student 
That means we are expecting the value of 16 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. That will be 28. And A means it comes of 3 elements. So 28 into 3. That will come as second print. So let's check the output. At first, we'll get the size of a single structure. That is 28. That is 16 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. That's how we get 28. Then for 3 elements, 28 into 3, that is 84. And number of elements here, I have divided the second value with first value. That's how we get the number of structure elements. So this is how struct works because memory is allocated separately for each and every member of the structure. Now if we modify it as union, the main difference is the memory allocated is only corresponding to the largest element. Okay, So instead of 28 here only 16 will be allotted because that is the biggest element in the union. So Let's check the output again. Here it is only 16. So 16 into 3 that will be 48. So that is the difference between structure and union.